Hello, this is Susan Sun Nunnemaker here at uh, sunnessofuture.net. We are still at Victoria Square and I have gotten hold of uh, a wonderful young man by the name of Martin Brook and he's been uh, really helping out here. Let's, uh, let's find out a little bit more about the behind the scenes stories from Martin. Hello everyone. Um I'm a member of the Aurora Solar Car team. We're a Melbourne-based team in Australia. Um, we've actually been running an education program on behalf of the World Solar Challenge this year with one of our old cars, Southern Aurora. It's 12 years old. We've been taking it to all the major towns on the race route, showing them a car. The car actually works. Um, doing driving demos and explaining some of the science behind solar cars. Um, oh, Martin. Some of your home hopes and dreams, tell us some of uh, what you are hoping to accomplish or get out of. Um, largely I'm about the technology. I freely admit I'm not a car person, I'm not a racing person. So it's about education, it's about pushing the envelope of the technology, it's about the future for me more than it is about the racing, the winning. And that's why I take part in the education programs and not part of the main Aurora race team because we actually fielded a car in the World Solar Challenge race this year. As you can see, we need people from all walks of life and uh, in order to cooperate to make this happen. And uh, is there anything you'd like to show us or uh, tell us? Well, um, this, this being Southern Aurora is our 12-year-old solar racing car. Um, it's still fully functional. Um, it's running a 2009 generation Aurora electronics package and the car actually raced in 2009. Um, it's got a, the unique standard Aurora suspension setup of a rigid chassis with a sprung body. Um, I can't actually explain why that works as well as it does, but it does. Um, it shares an awful lot in common with the main car and we actually use it for team training because it gives the people an opportunity to work on the electronics as if they were working on the main car without risking the main car. And uh, what are some of your own interests and hobbies? Well, um, I'm a volunteer, everyone on Aurora is. Um, I work as a TAFE teacher and I'm a part-time student as well. Um, my hobbies mostly revolve around computing and solar cars. It's at the moment, more of the solar cars than the computing. Um, being at the workshop till 4 a.m. for eight or nine nights straight to try and get cars done, that sort of thing. If people like to get in touch with you and find out more about Aurora, uh, what's the best way to contact you? If they visit the Aurora Solar Car website page and go to contact us and choose educational outreach team from the contact options, they'll end up talking to me. And that's where we'd advise people with educational queries to go. There are other categories there obviously for sponsorship and similar sort of options. Thank you very much. Here's Martin Brook and we are here at Victoria Square, Adelaide, Australia. Uh, thank you very much, Martin, and I uh, really appreciate this. Uh, signing off, Susan Sun on the Maker at uh, sunisafuture.net.